In the articulator we have a small update, English only for now until we translate these modules. So this is the face scan. We, we had the face bone in the past and now we've got a face scan. With emerging face scan technology, uh, this is a really important tool to have. So we've got import STL, OBJ or PLY. Sometimes you have more than one face scan, which means that we'd like to pair on them. Depending on the software, some software align it automatically. This one, for example, we've got three different ones. We've got one sort of semi-smiley face. The next one we have wide open, which is really good for alignment, ICP alignment of the models. And then we've got another one, which is a series face. I'm not going to be using that one at all, so I'm going to X delete it. If you look carefully, there's a bit of an overlap. Now, this can happen depending on which software has been used, but we can deal with this later. It is always beneficial to do object management. We need to select the one that we need for ICP alignment last. So I'm going to call this one last, just so that I don't get confused. And I'm going to left click and then control hold the control down and left click, you'll see this one is orange and this is sort of dark orange, depending on your theme, by the way. We're going to parent the, the scans, which means the parent is visible and the child is not visible. We are looking at this from the front, so all I have to do is R to rotate it, and then RX to rotate it and bring it in line with the mask. Then I'm going to look at it from the side and you'll notice we've got the mounting table over there which is really good because as we're mounting these teeth over here we know that each and every one of the tooth libraries is going to plonk the tooth library exactly in that position which is really beneficial. I'm just going to have a look at the bottom, tilde key view bottom and um, reposition the face sort of in the correct position. Next what I want to do is these over here are for the mask. This means that the mask is going to move up and down on these arrows. Now we're not going to rotate the mask at all. We're going to move it up or down and we're going to scale that according to the pupils. So I'm going to now select the scan and using the R key and the G key move that within these pupils over here. Now the pupils are a good indication unless the orbital sockets have been um, moved by an accident or birth or whatever, but it gives us a good indication. And if we can get this correct, then we can say that we've got a good midline as well. Um, so here we, we can see the midline is slightly different. It's probably because these teeth have to be extracted and um, these are loose by the way and it's asymmetrical. From here on, so we've got this one here, tooth libraries are going to go in there perfectly and we are set to go. So I'm going to just unparent the scans and then both scans or more than one depending on how many you have are going to um, be viewed over here so I can unhide the scan that I don't want to use. I don't, I'm going to use this scan for alignment, ICP alignment. Here I'm going to hide the mounting plate and hide the mask and this is how easy it actually is. From here on we bring in our models and then um, ICP align it and I'll just show you as well. All right we're going to bring in our models. These are also OBJ files. That's the lower model. Import the upper as well. From here I'm going to just select both of these and just move them a little bit to the side. We can rotate them RX like that. 
So I'm going to join these up. Select, select, control J on the keyboard, or right click and join, or find yourself a join button in one of the modules. Go to the alignment, and this is our moving object, and this is going to be our destination object. We're going to place a few landmarks. So place landmarks, and we can see over here what teeth we can use. So basically we've got a little bit of the premolar over there. I'm going to put one on the front two teeth and I'm going to go back to the canine and maybe another one on the lower canine and another one on the other lower canine. And we're going to click on enter. We're going to select this one, place landmarks and do the same thing. So there's one, so please get the order correct. This is very All right, so based, based on that, I'm going to click Enter, select both, perform initial alignment, and then perform ICP alignment. Great, now we've got the alignment of the teeth. Um, just check it that you are more or less um, happy with it. Sometimes there can be a little bit of deviation because these facial scans, the mesh structure is not so good. So you can actually see the mesh structure if I go into edit mode. It's not such a good structure, but it's good enough for this purpose. So the next part we want to cut out the teeth. So I'm going to move to the other model. So this one we don't need anymore. We've, we've used this for ICP alignment. We want to use this model. Now you may want to know how we're going to cut these out and that's very easy. Just select it and in the articulator module, this new menu, just click on fast edit. This puts us into transparent mode and we're going to outline the lips over here like this. like that, and then just click on delete, and that's going to delete it. It's as simple as that. Unfortunately, the, these teeth look very yellow. This is from the intraoral scan. It would be so nice if they were really the correct color. This is something that we can't change at this stage. You can, however, delete the color if you want to go to the model designer and just click on delete the color. And we are ready now to, to do our wax up. Uh, one last thing is that the deleted mesh of the teeth has been kept. So you can always use that later as a reference as well. Okay.